Okay, today I'm going to make a video showing you how to flash the newest uh, ice cream sandwich beta 1 <clears throat> onto your uh, Samsung AT&T Captivate. Uh, I'm starting here on AT&T bootloaders. Uh, I've already been on the beta 1. Uh, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flash back and I'm going to I'm going to do that in this video. I'm going to flash back to a stock gingerbread ROM and just show you what I'm doing there real quick. So <clears throat> the the ROM that I'm flashing I'll have a link uh, in the description to the ROM that I'm using, and it's a it's a one-click Odin. And uh, the good thing about this ROM is that it includes a kernel, the Boog Kernel 3, that has Clockwork Mod Recovery already built into it. And we need that Clockwork Mod to be able to flash this ice cream sandwich. So that's really the best thing about uh, this this uh, ROM that we're going to be flashing. So I've already uh, I've already got my phone completely powered down. I just pulled the battery, put it back in, so it's completely off. And if you'll notice up here on my screen, I've already got my one-click Odin opened. And it's this uh, uh, gingerbread ROM, the KH3 version of it. And uh, I've got already got that opened. Now I'm going to take my phone into download mode. So to put your phone into download mode. Okay, I'm going to press and hold the up, volume up and down. Do not push the power button. So just push volume up and down. Then take your USB cable and plug it in keep holding the volume up and then boom there we're in download mode okay now up here on my screen you can see how that one yet came up yellow it shows that it's reading on a port so I'm ready now uh, to flash that I'm just going to push start and you can see in just a second you can see the progress bar starting there You can flash the ice cream sandwich over basically any ROM, but you have to correct the partition type that Samsung leaves as a default. And I'll show more about that in a little while on this video. Okay, just skip all that. Now, I just want to show you here. Just have my USB cable plugged in. I just want to show you here. We just flash back to. go we're on gingerbread 2.3.4 we're on kh3 version of this you don't have to flash back to a stock rom like this i'm just showing this just kind of as a starting point uh for me getting to this ice cream sandwich okay now there's going to be three basic things we need to get from this stock rom to ice cream sandwich beta one the three things you're going to need is the first one being a cyanogen mod uh seven version or um, or a my UI and we're just going to use Cyanogen Mod. So go over to Cyanogen Mod's website and go to get Cyanogen Mod. Drop down to here to Captivate and just grab one of the Notly builds. This latest one, that's the one I used, was the full 181. Download that. It's 97.17 megabytes. Download that file and put it on the root of your SD, internal SD of your phone. So take that and put it on. I hate that swipe screen. Take it and put that Cyanogen mod on the internal of your of your Captivate. Now there's going to be two other files we need. Obviously, we're going to need the ice cream sandwich beta one, and we're going to need the proper kernel. So going back over now to my browser, I'm going over here to the the original dev thread for this ice cream 
uh, sandwich port and on this original thread here on the very first post it said here are all the downloads click on that the uh, ICS 4.0.1 R1 Beta 1 i9000 it's 158 megabytes you want that one and then you also want to download the captivate kernel b1 update dot zip so you want you need and put both of those files on your phone so you got the sign engine mod the ICS beta 1 and your captivate kernel all three of those files on the internal of your of your phone alright so now alright just gonna plug that didn't need that anyways okay so <clears throat> to put to get where we need to go all right, I'm just going to pull battery now that I've already got all three of those files on my phone. And I want to go into clockwork mod. To go into clockwork mod, I'm going to push volume up and down, hold those, and then push the power button. All three of those at the same time. Let go of the power button after a second. After you see the AT&T screen. And then there you go. We're now into our clockwork. Now, first thing I'm going to do is wipe data, factory reset. Okay, now we want to wipe cache partition. Then go to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. Now go back. Now I want to show you what happens if we try to install uh, the ice cream sandwich directly uh, from this uh, stock Samsung ROM. So if I go to install SD from uh, uh, zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. And then I'm going to go up here and find the Ice Cream Sandwich Beta 1 file. I left mine in a folder. Uh, go to Flash That Ice Cream Sandwich Beta 1. And boom. Error in SD card in that file. Status 7 installation aborted. The reason for that is is because we haven't changed it to the right partition type. We need to change it to MTD versus the BML, which it's on now with with this uh, Samsung uh, ROM on here. So that's why we put the Cyanogen mod uh, file on here because the Cyanogen mod will change that partition type over for us so that we can flash this ice cream sandwich. All right, so I'm going to go back, uh, go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. Go back up to where my file is, where those three files are at, and this CM, the Cyanogen mod, captivate the full 181 that I downloaded. I'm going to flash that Cyanogen mod. And it's going to do what it needs to do so we can flash next our ice cream sandwich ROM. It so says they're checking state of BML MTD. And it's going to switch that over for us because Cyanogen Mod has to have the MTD as well. So Cyanogen Mod changes that, and we'll let the, the Cyanogen Mod ROM do the work for us there of changing that. Then we can flash the ice cream sandwich. Alright, so I got Cyanogen on here now. I don't really need that, so I'm just going to pull battery here once it gets to that point. And now I'm going to go back into Clockwork Mod, so I'm going to push volume up and down at the same time and then power. Alright, so now we're back into Clockwork. Now I can go over here, choose Install Zip from SD Card. Choose Zip from SD Card, then go find the Ice Cream Sandwich Beta 1. Install that. And 
And then this time, it's not going to fail. It's going to let us go through here. Okay, so it's it's flashed once. I'm just going to follow his directions exactly. We're going to pull battery here. So step two of what he says. I'm going to put that back in. Go back into clockwork. Volume up, down, power at the same time. Let go. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to go down to white data factory reset. Okay, wipe cache partition. Then we're going to go back and we're going to go to install zip from SD card again. Choose zip from SD card, go find that ice cream sandwich beta 1 file again. And uh, we're going to flash that. Okay, flash the ROM. Now choose zip from SD card again. Now this time I'm going to go find the last one of those, that Captivate kernel. And uh, right here, this Captivate kernel B1 update. Let's flash that. Alright, go back. Let's reboot and see what happens. Okay, I had this problem before. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, flash that kernel and it just just starts to boot up and it just stops there. So it's so what I'm going to do. Let's pull my battery. I'm going to go back into clockwork. Okay, so <clears throat> from what I just did there, those steps I took, it went, after I tried to boot up, after flashing that kernel, it went back to black screen there. And I've, I've read a couple other people in this thread saying that that happened to them. So it's what I did is, um, after it went black screen like that, I pulled the battery, put the battery back in, went back into clockwork, um, I uh, wiped data factory reset, wiped cache partition, uh, wiped Dalvik cache, just like I did before. And then basically I went through the same steps. I flashed the uh, the ICS Beta 1 again, then I flashed it twice, and then I flashed this kernel again. So basically I went through all of those steps twice. And after I did it twice and now let it reboot, now it looks like it's going to come back in and, and let me boot in here with, with that kernel on there. So you may have been able to go through the first time, uh, but you also may have had a kind of a problem like I did there, and uh, just go through those steps again, and uh, should get you should get you to to be able to boot up here. So we'll see what happens.